is a, a very classic Jewish dictum that states that words from the heart enter the heart. Chabad of Heartland takes it to a different level. When you belong or become a member or participate in Chabad, you're not participating in just a local Chabad. You're literally participating in a worldwide brotherhood. It's like feeling at home. It's like a family. I don't look at them as rabbis. I look at them as family. We moved here and we stayed for a very good reason. We found Chabad of Parkland. Early 1975, when me and my wife were chosen by the Rebbe to be shluchim in Florida, and it was interesting, we had a private audience with the Rebbe. And one of the things that sticks out in my mind and I live with every single day is we should be lights to light other people. Neiros Lahoyer. As I saw the Jews started moving north, I started my first Chabad center in Hallandale, moved up to Inverary, going north, Coral Springs Margate area, going north of that, I went to Boca Raton, then I went to Boynton Beach, Delray Beach, and I kept on moving Chabads. Every year, I would open up another Chabad center. When we first moved to Parkland, there weren't even streets. None of it was built up. We would walk through the grass, and they didn't have a lot of the buildings, and we were part of the growth of the city. My earliest memory is perhaps even six, seven, eight years old. I remember following my dad and being so proud of him, knowing that he was one of the first Chabad emissaries of the Rebbe in South Florida, and he was really, along with my mother, trailblazers. It made me want to emulate and follow in his footsteps. My husband told me, I'm in this little place called Parkland, and I said to him, well, I'm from Cape Town, and my family lives there, and the Rebbe sent them there. We knew that Parkland was our home. In January of 2002, we officially moved to Parkland as emissaries of the Rebbe. We simply didn't have much of a community formed yet. Um, even on Shabbat, there was really no guaranteed minion. I remember the first person I ever went to in a community called The Landings, and at the gate, the fellow, when he heard it's rabbi, didn't let me in. We met people in the early years, they would say, oh, there's not many Jews here. Rabbi, you sure this is the place for a Chabad to open up? One commissioner told me she was Jewish, and she said, the rabbi saw you in the newspapers putting menorahs on the turnpike and all over the squares. Why don't you bring them to Parkland? I said, if you'll get me a crowd to celebrate it, I'll be here. She said to me, could it be everyone or it has to be just Jewish people? I said, could it be anybody? So we built a menorah in the city of Parkland on City Hall property, and over 100 people came to that first event. It didn't take long for that to really become very apparent to us that uh, we were not only welcomed, but warmly welcomed by so many people. When I come now and I see close to 1,000 people, and, and somebody will come over to me with their children and say to me, remember when, remember this, and they're a product of the work that my husband and I did. What could you ask more than that? Hebrew school is really the main cornerstone of what uh, I feel Chabad of Parkland really embodies, and that is the youth. January of 2002, there were 11 children, and this year we have 222 children enrolled in our Hebrew school. It hurt a lot of people were going to Chabad, but as Reformed Jews, we thought that was a little weird. Our children have been involved with Chabad from the first couple of weeks that we moved to Parkland. I think everything we do at Hebrew school influences my family. And we really learned it in like such a fun way that we just wanted to share it with our family. And the children are yearning for identity. They're yearning to be connected to their traditions, to their heritage, and it's not going to happen automatically. We also direct the Bar and Bat Mitzvah program. My husband teaches the Bar Mitzvah boys. I teach the Bat Mitzvah girls. We have a very popular day camp, uh, our Camp Gun Israel, with over 300 campers. Uh, this camp is now going on its 36th summer. The camp has a great reputation as a place where children, and many of them public school children, could come for the summer and get a Jewish education in a very fun environment with all the trips and special activities and sports and leagues and dance and drama. It's more than just where we go on Saturday mornings. We've developed amazing friendships with the rabbis, with the community members, uh, and we consider them our friends and, and our family. And my kids are involved with the Chabad since kindergarten, and without the guidance of 
the Beeston family, I don't think I will be where I am today. One thing I love about Chabad is undiluted, it's uncompromising, you get the truth. Coming to the Chabad for so many years, you get educated and you learn to view the world in a different picture. You know, I was deeply affected by my first experience in Israel. I think in large part due to the fact that we got to travel there with our rabbi. I always do feel really inspired, never judge, always, you know, wanting to do more. There's never been the opportunity for people to come to a place where they feel this is our home for everything Jewish. And this is a place where we know we will always feel loved, always feel welcome. And just like in anybody's home, children, mother, father, they feel comfortable. You know, they say that if you build it, they will come. I can honestly say that they've already come, now we just need to build it. Uh, this is our moment. Parkland, we were part of its infancy. We grew together as a community, and now we're going to step into the next level. We can wait until the shul is open. I think it will be great for everybody because it will be big enough that everybody can come in. The bigger you build, the, the more we will attract. It's a tool for us to reach out more into the community and get more people involved. That dream is about to come to culmination. And we're so very, very thrilled and excited to be being blessed with this momentous opportunity. Campus is going to allow more people to feel comfortable sort of checking it out and, um, and enjoying events there. I know I'm really looking forward to it. Whether you want to put on tefillin with the rabbi, whether you want to bake challah with the rabbitson, whether you want to learn or just hang out, whether your children want to come over on Shabbat afternoon and play, our doors are always open. The foresight of the rebbe to be able to tell us what to do and following his directives that now we see in front of us our hard work. This is our moment. This is our moment.